This is James Calm, the guy on the bike. So <clears throat> we're at the Mitchell Agus Gallery and we're going to take a little look at the Willoughby Sharp exhibition here. And uh, we'll come back and uh, have a little interview with Willoughby and, and Mitchell after we take a look through the show here. These pieces are basically documentations of some of Willoughby's performances. This piece right here is titled Einstein's Eye. And it says, first realized at the Richard L. Feigen Gallery, New York City, 1970. Photo in its European premiere, Kunstpunkt Berlin, 2006. Einstein Eye was inspired by an auspicious tea with Albert Einstein. He infected me with a cosmo cosmic connection to my place in the world which allowed me to explore my understanding of the new electronic technology. I had my right eye taped by a Sony video system, the 33400 series Porta Pack. After the videotape was shot, it was replayed for a small, especially invited audience. Anyway, I think that um, from seeing the work and the dates here, you can definitely see that uh, Willoughby Sharp was one of the first artists that was deeply involved with the technology of video and performance and the implication of all these things and in certain ways you can see that it's sort of come to fruition with the internet and things like YouTube. This piece here documents Saskia Project 74 Cologne Germany in which he tries to sort of recapture the the life of his daughter uh, he was married and had a had a daughter with a woman from Dusseldorf. She left, took the child with him. And Saska was my attempt to recapture her, to become her father by going, by giving her birth. For this work, I took a, po a dose of LSD, which enabled me to accept a special spiritual state. I shaved off my beard, profusely patterned, perfumed myself become more feminine before I took stage I placed a child's teddy bear inside my diaper then I got into the crib saying Saskia Saskia this is a wall of pieces uh, documenting some of the many performances done mostly at uh, colleges and universities This is an installation view of the exhibition, which is actually titled Willoughby Sharp Reappearance. Archival artifacts, articles, drawings, JPEGs, memorabilia, objects, paintings, photographs, relics, residue, and other exotica. This is an intriguing piece, Willoughby Sharp Inside Out, a 300-hour video performance. At 12 noon on November 16th, I shall be locked in a box, 8 by 8 by 16 feet at 112 Green Street, New York, and remain inside it for 300 hours. A closed-circuit video system will enable the public to see the performance. My thanks to Jamie, Nancy, Susan, the people at MERC, NY for the hardware, Liz Beard, Avalanche, New York, for the title, etc., etc. Okay, we've got a roll of toilet paper and uh, Carlos Castaneda's The Second Ring of Power. I guess you'd have time to read the whole thing in 300 hours. These photos document the piece help. 
120 Green Street Gallery, January 18th, 1974. I fell in love with Kay Pinkley, a Mills College student, 1973. I got her to come east on the day I was to go on. I got her Dear John letter saying that our affair was over and she would never see me again. I was shattered and my pain became the focus of the work. This piece documents Stay, the University of Oklahoma. In which he used a gun stuffed under the mattress. This is a piece that uh, caught my interest. It's titled Guilty. University of Wisconsin, Eclair, October 23rd, 1974. Knowing that I was drawn to spaces that were untouched by previous art, I was shown in an abandoned meat locker with rank odor and decrepitness. It inspired me, so I bought a pig's muzzle rope and a large lamb leg bone and had myself strung into the existing metal rack Although I struggled furiously, there was no chance to escape. Everyone I know was guilty for being punished, not only for my sins, but for yours as well. It's a very Christian attitude. We've got a couple of oil drums that are bolted together document his piece, Willpower. This group of photos and text documents Combat Zone Project Incorporated, 1975, Cambridge, Massachusetts. And we are left with residual prophylactics. Interlude at the Kitchen 59 Wooster Street, January 1975. This is the documentation of a piece called Full Womb, University of Massachusetts. Onset, Massachusetts, February 25th, 1975. On the night of this piece, I knew there would be a full moon. A full moon is an auspicious moment for any astrologically inspired artist, especially one like myself, who lives by the stars. The title over these drawings is I am the only witness to myself. Antonin Artaud. This is James Calm coming to you from the Sculpture Center in Long Island City. We're going to try to catch the uh, second part of Willoughby Sharp. And we're looking at an installation documenting some of Willoughby Sharp's performances here at the Sculpture Center. This plywood box documents this piece inside out. The 300 hour video performance. Willoughby Sharp's reappearance. I've 